Good morning, YouTube. So here we are with a little bit of a Hummer update. Uh, looks like we won't be driving it until after Christmas. we got to get it back in at the dealership for a wheel alignment. They did a wheel alignment back in October. Or, sorry, November. And I just happened to be checking my tire pressure, and I noticed the, this tire here is wearing excessively. So our uh, camber is quite far out. And when it's standing in front, you can actually see... I mean, it's kind of hard to tell right now with the wheel turned, but yeah, it was out. It looks to me to be out quite a bit, so we're going to have to bring that in, get that fixed up on Wednesday, the December 27th, so, um, but on top of that, we were fighting the uh, engine codes. We had a P0300 and a P0174, and of course, the dealership says, um, oh, it's intake gasket, intake gasket, and I already tested the intake gasket, you know, trying with the carburetor cleaner around the base of it went on, and I didn't get any change. And then I tested coil packs, and they were fine. And a friend recommended trying the EVAP purge solenoid, so I tried that. That didn't work. Um, of course, plugs and wires did all that. That didn't work. And the odd thing was, is our O2 sensors were actually reading, but. I checked the fuel trims, short term and long term fuel trims, and they were out to lunch, man. So I thought, well, that's odd. So I unplugged the O2 and let it run, and it ran smooth. You know, it didn't it didn't smell extremely rich or anything. And so I was kind of like, okay, whatever, right? So I plugged it back in, and then what I actually noticed is it ran smooth for the first. 30 seconds or 45 seconds, however long a vehicle stays in open loop, I'm not sure. Uh, but as soon as the computer took over, then it went all haywire and was just dumping excessive amounts of fuel in there. So bank two was, it was, they were black, man. Those plugs were just, they were toast. So I ended up putting new plugs in that side and decided, you know what, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to just try to do the upstream O2 sensor and see what it does even though the dealership is telling me no 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 it's fine it's fine don't waste your money doing that it's it's probably something else it's mechanical failure uh of course i did a compression test everything was within seven psi in each cylinder so i thought you know what for a hundred bucks i'm just gonna buy an o2 so i did plug the o2 in that was three days ago and we still don't have any engine codes so what does that tell you i don't know if they were just trying to make money you know thinking oh well let's just replace parts right but nonetheless we got it solved so let that be a lesson you know if you're getting engine codes just do a little bit of homework you know because i went online and i read a lot of things online i mean don't really like having to rely online but a lot of people were saying that they had a similar problem and that is the problem they had was the same thing an upstream o2 sensor so i'm glad i figured that out but kind of a little bit disappointed with this tire wear because we're leaving for Vancouver uh, Christmas Day we were driving down to Vancouver so looks like we'll be taking the wife's Pathfinder for that so but I really want to try the, the KO's or the sorry the KM2's on the highway overall I mean they're a really nice tire they've been running them around town and they are awesome especially you can see we have some snow it's kind of a lot of it is blown away we had, we had about six inches of fresh snow and these things were just it's like i was on track no wheel slip or nothing they were absolutely amazing so she has uh i put k ko2s on her pathfinder so we'll take that down and it'll be all right and then this poor f-150 just sitting there we're gonna do some fun stuff with that not sure what direction i'm gonna take with that yet but we'll figure it out so. uh please rate comment and subscribe and I hope you have yourself a very Merry Christmas, YouTube. Thanks for watching.